Hey guys, Cool Bomb, we're back. I'm Aaron. I'm Melanie. <clears throat> and we are back with Supergirl. What? Uh, finally back. It's been on break after a shortened previous season because of the pandemic yeah. and restrictions. And I remember being pleasantly surprised by their unintentional end, you know? <laughs> sure, yeah. Um, last season, I think, I think they were working around that that they had to de delay for, and also Melissa was pregnant, I think, so there was, like, scheduling things around that as well. Um, <clears throat> but, anyway. Is she still pregnant? Like... I don't think she's pregnant, like, a year later, no. Has it been a full year? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've been... A, it's been a while. So she's probably had the baby. If she is still pregnant, maybe it is a Kryptonian baby. Oh, God. <laughs> um, so last season, though, we were dealing with, uh, technology. Yeah. We had, uh... VR. A girl named Andrea. 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 Yeah, I guess it was Andrea. Um, Obsidian um, North. <clears throat> yeah, where they were doing this, like, reality thing where you could go into this other virtual reality and do things in there, and we had some... Granny goodness trapping people in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we had, uh, also the, um, what they call them? We had Gemma... And, uh, um, uh, bald white guy. Yeah. What was his name? I forget uh, his name. But the big staff. <clears throat> um. He controlled Earth. <clears throat> all right. Court of Owls? No. no what? No, 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 no. You're fired. Shut up. <laughs> um, but anyway, we had Gemma, who's like part robot uh -huh. or something. We had Brainiac doing some weird things. Right. Um, we had a special room that sucked. <laughs> Remember that? Like, Brainiac had, like, Sacrifice himself going inside to like disable the one thing. Um, oh, yeah, that was a fun episode because it was very, <laughs> it was just him. And we had it was a, a lot of fun to watch our well, Brainiac. Well, the one I'm thinking of, I think, was the last episode, right? There was that room where he had to go into. Um, is it the last episode that, so. that happened? Um, I remember the last episode we got to meet Alex's new suit. I forget the suit. You forget the suit? Yeah. How it zoomed up? And, okay. Apparently you remember. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, any other big points? We also had, I believe, last, wasn't it last season, the whole thing with, like, Lena? It's like, she good, she bad, she's got Eve, and oh, <clears throat> Eve yeah. is now not Eve, and... Brainy died. D didn't I say about Room and Brainy sacrifice stuff and whatnot? Did he die, die? I think he's, he's, that, most, he's that's like a, in limbo. He's like it? an AI robot. So like, if he came back, I'd be like, yeah, it makes sense. But if he didn't come back, I'd be like, oh, that was sad. I hope we didn't lose that <clears> actor. <throat> but we had the uh, another big story plot I think from last season was Lena and Kara, and if she if Lena was going bad and going to be bad, or if she was good, uh, Crisis also had some a uh, little weird reset with some of the season. Um, I believe having to do with. Um, Andrea and the guy that she like was in love with that was like the Doc Ock looking dude and, yeah like some different things like that and why she had powers and if she was evil and if she was discovering powers later on and a bunch of weird things <clears throat> it's a weird season because we had crisis kind of messing with things we had COVID messing with things we had <laughs> pregnancies messing with things lots of things messing with things we so. also have Lex where's Lex um when was the last time we saw Lex Leviathan that's who they were Leviathan is the bad peoples. Yes. Right? You were asking oh, their name. Lex was working on teaming up with mm. uh, Gemma, but then he was also like playing both sides. Right. And Lex doing Lex things. So, so that's kind of where that was. So yeah, no, we've had a, a lot of weird things going on. Um, I'm excited to see how they do this season because we also have the Super Superman and Lois uh, show that started up before here. Um, that hasn't had too much of any kind of really tie-ins with too much anything. Any. <laughs> <laughs> so, no tie-ins. No, I mean, if you want to, like, you can't say no tie-ins because it's still the same Lois, still the same uh, Clark. Um, if it was entirely different people, though, playing Clark and Lois, I would say it's a different show in a different universe or a different Earth. But we don't know. So we have a few things like that. Um I think even General Lane's played by a different person than what it was in Supergirl. So. Yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, no. We'll and have to see how that we goes. Have, we met Lana in Supergirl. Uh, yeah, we met Lana in Supergirl. No, not Lana in Supergirl, did we? I thought we met both Lana and... I thought, no, we met, like, Lois's sister, right? Did we meet Lana? Lana, that might have been, like, season two if we did. Like, or or season we, one. 
Because I was back with uh, General... General Lane, when he showed up, that I remember first was Red Tornado. Yeah. But that was season one with CBS, so maybe there's some leeway there. But they still had kept like everyone else. But anyway, weird stuff. I don't know what's going on with that show. Um, we have been covering that here on the channel, so if you haven't seen that, make sure you catch up on that. We have our reactions here. We'll be doing more of that when that show returns, because right now Supergirl's taking that slot. Um, we do have also our Q&As. We'll be doing it at the end of each episode uh, using the hashtag Supergirl Q&A over on our Twitter. You can find that down in the description below. And with this being the start of a season, um, we have over on Patreon our Raw Rider tier, which does our full length. Uh, first episode of every season, the full length is available for anyone, whether you're a patron or not. So make sure you check that out. That should be down in the pinned comment or the description below, or both. Sometimes both. So, <clears throat> um, And we also have our polls that we do. So we'll be doing those uh, every episode. We'll... Give a poll, you guys answer, leave us some comments and thoughts too. Gives that and Q&A's a, a little bit of a way for us to kind of talk with you guys and see what you guys are thinking and uh, get in your guys' heads. So, Otherwise, I think that's going to be it. Um, I think we are both aware of this season now, right? Like what do you mean this season? This season's going to be the last Supergirl season. I'm pretty sure we've talked about that or something. I know that I heard about it. Possibly, I don't it. remember. <clears throat> I know you forget a lot of stuff. We could probably watch the season twice, and you'd be like, "Wow, <laughs> it's amazing" or something. But probably, um, is it full length season or short season? I don't know. I'm not sure what. I'll, I'm not sure how long. I'm not sure when there's breaks. I'm not sure what they're doing with that. But it's supposed to be the last Supergirl season. But I don't know if they have other plans. I don't know. I don't know what the reasons are, or why, or whatever. So. We'll just see what they do with this and uh, how they kind of wrap things up. But we need to see how they. Go from last season, start up this season, and go through. Because Flash had like a three, four episode, like finish last season and then go. So did they fully get everything they wanted to done last season? Or are we going to be seeing the remnants of that? Yeah. So. Exciting. All right, guys. Well, let's get started with Supergirl. The gods shrink them. There's, this is the room where he was dying. Oh, yeah. Lex yeah. came into the thingy. It's brainy. It needs my help. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I need so, to so, better notes. So he might not be dead. You say he's not oh, dead okay. yet. But he's still green. Oh. Oh. But technology can kill you. Granny's kind of technology. Uh oh. Oh, hey, John, and who else is there? Was it Magon? Oh no, Alex can't handle this. Oh yeah, Magon. I'll get Alex and Brady out of here. Good night. I know how to stop her. Gamma The anti-life equation. The anti-life equation. What has to be the ship's commando? Like this? Because she can make anything, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I remember that. Be robot woman. It's gonna catch it. It's gonna be like. Oh. Wow, getting as a hole perfectly made for it. Wait, really? Is that it? Is that like a quick wrap up of everything from last time, or is that like are we gonna continue? No, don't give him powers. Oh, crap! Give him powers. And then the non-believers. And once I fix this planet, I'll do what the anti-monitor failed to do. Fix every other planet in the universe. Uh, well, hmm. that sounds like a good plan. I assume I will be safe without being brainwashed to love you, since I already do. Of course, Mother. There's a special doohickey with your name on it. And your sister. You can't kill her either. Why not? She killed me first. <laughs> that's your yeah. oh, that's way very I will turn on you. Dream time. What's the future hold? I like her powers. Whoa, what's that? Uh, the Brainiac shrunk in the world. Right? What the hell? Is that He's a creepy a... Lex? Dreamer. What was he, was he wearing? I saw Lex as the anti Yeah, okay. We could create a web of psychic energy that we could literally bind on to things and... But you just started things. kissing, right? We can do it. Move them in okay, unison. Even if you stop the satellites, half the people out there are still going to be brainwashed by Lex. Lena. If you had the code Lex used, could you reverse it using Myriad? 
Ooh, using Mirian. Mirian, yes, but you want to help people. Oh, yeah, and she knows that she's Kara too, right? Because that was a thing finally that they. Yeah. Well, she knew before, but they discussed it, right? database into a hard drive. You do that, I'll give you what you've always wanted. What's that? No, don't say hair. That's low hanging fruit. Me. <laughs> wow. That is tempting. I like how Lex is. I assume He's there's a no strings attached. No trap. And even if they're successful at stopping my satellites, I'm a god, mother. I'll have plenty of time to fix what they mess up. Oh, uh, um, he's already so believed he won. Hmm. <clears throat> I wonder what the mom's thinking, because she keeps, like, questioning him. Sure, know? yeah. Just fight ring. Take this. So that she can fly? Knock them out satellites with the whips. He plays dirty, meaning maximizing the pain wherever he can. Yeah. Well, I was stuck in the Phantom Zone replaying the destruction of my planet for nearly a decade. Bring it on. I knew it wasn't easy to trust me again. Especially with Myriad. But You're the only person in the galaxy I know would do right by it. Come on. Yeah. Kara's like, this is a move on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we've got a ways to go, but it is nice. I love you. I love you. Uh-oh. Always. Always. I will see you later. Uh-oh. With this. Maybe. What are they doing? Uh, are they killing her off? A lot of things feel weird, right? Yeah. Like a lot of apology, a lot of goodbyeing, a lot of... I love you. Yeah. I will see you later. And then they, they don't do that whenever there's like... It means doom, Aaron. Well, who's gonna die, though? Is someone gonna die? Maybe Carter gonna get trapped. Maybe Alex gonna die. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, maybe the whole season's gonna be trying to get her out. I need you to know that I had no idea that this was Lex's plan. I thought that if, if I was uh, close to him, I, I would be able to know how and when to stop him, but I... I didn't. You both fell into the same trap. I mean, she's done that before. So if anyone's gonna win the culpability award, I've got you by a landslide. <laughs> ah. Let's find that bottle. Oh God! <laughs> I forgot about this guy. All right, get this mind netting together. It is kind of cool. It's like they're, you know, trying to wade in the water. Uh. Uh. Did he booby trap it? We are not getting out. All right. Well, got rid of them. Myriad. Hey, the golden stuff is disappearing. I'm glad it didn't, like, freeze them. Dream girl. Dream girl. Yeah, kick that mom. <laughs> you think mom doesn't know how to use a gun. Who's got the headache now? Ugh. And she's pretty green. Yeah, over the clothing. Luther satellites terminated. Population no longer at risk. Lena Luther protocol engaging. I'm glad it translated. Sunlight. A little sun drone. Aww. Oh, it's putting her in a suit. I thought it was like a little sun drone. <laughs> that was just it. Here to save the girl of steel. Your one glam rock hit too late. Aha, uh -huh, she's right there. Are we? Welcome to mortality, Lex. Ah, shh. Oh, that's just embarrassing. Electricity. That is a little embarrassing, but I'm glad it wasn't just that easy. He's like, so. <laughs> he can fly, he looks weird. Is that a kryptonite shield? 
Shoot it with guns! I like Alex's plan. Ooh. Oh no. Her suit broke. Better not be Alex. No. No. Okay. Or ah, there you go. There it is. Sending her to the Phantom Zone? Yeah. God. The blinding hubris. <laughs> no, no, no. Even if that were to work without the coordinates of where he sent her, she could be anywhere in the Phantom Zone. Oh, we gotta go to the Phantom Zone? Maybe we That's kind of cool. She may be gone, but she still has an awful lot of enemies out there. It'd be tragic if Mama Danvers or your lovely Kelly Olsen were to become the target of one. Oh, Lee! <laughs> Love the it. Hook. Sorry, did you want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much! <laughs> Sadly, Obsidian North has folded. But that is my father's problem. He bought all my shares right before the company crashed this morning. I realize, in <laughs> retrospect, I was undervaluing Kako. We could be a beacon, a crown jewel of investigative journalism. Oh, now. We certainly have the talent. Well, since Kara is exclusive to Kako, whatever story Kat's pulled her away to do will be our front page soon. Let's hope that doozy. Tick tock. Everyone back to work. We've got so a paper to He play. does not know, correct? No, and there was like, uh, are they, won't they yeah. kind of be a thing, right? I thought they song. were a thing. Okay. I'm glad you held your tongue. <laughs> oh, -ho. Lena? Hello. Is what she doing evil right now? Maybe she's evil. wiping their minds so they don't have the car knowledge and stuff. Okay. I think it's it looks evil, but it's good. And it's still Luther's. No one cares. <laughs> In fact, you remind me of a colleague I once had on Mars called Nora Cott. Nora Cott. We were a team. She had patience, courage, and commitment. Just like you. We called her Sentinel. Sentinel. This... Where's her symbol? And now, I think it should be yours. Yeah. Pass it on the mantle of Sentinel. 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 On Lex, um, my mother and everyone associated with them, I wipe their minds of Supergirl's identity. See? To protect you all. Oh. Okay. So, looked evil. No, it's just the green eyes is what it does. Keeping... All right. So maybe we'll flash back and forth between the Phantom Zone and the... Ooh, what are these Nosferatu monsters? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so... One thing is that as we went through, more of the, more of the story beats that I'm like... I was vague on, filled back in. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I remember this, I remember this, I remember this. Yeah. Because it's been a while since we've had it, but... Especially since it picked up right where it left off. Sure. So, that was... Helpful. <laughs> yeah. No, it feels like it, uh, this might have been an episode to wrap up the story of last season. Mm -hmm. Like, this might have been where they were going to end, right? We've beaten Lex. Lex right. doesn't remember who Kara is. But here's the, the kicker is that she's stuck in the Phantom Zone. So, like, right. now we're going to the next season. And are we going to have the final season lacking a Supergirl? Or are we going to be going back and forth between the two? Like, we'll be seeing what Kara is doing in the Phantom Zone, because we did see the Phantom Zone. So it gives me hope that rather than it just being, like, Kara's missing, we don't know where she is, we might have a little bit of a back and forth of, like, seeing her survival in there mm -hmm. while the other team's trying to save her. And maybe we'll meet some people that are in the Phantom Zone that could be, like, oh, look at that. That's yeah, cool. I'm hoping Easter eggs will drop, yeah. But you can also tell primarily from Alex's makeup, like, what scenes they had already filmed and that kind of already fit in with um, the previous storyline. Hmm. And the new uh, uh, footage that they kind of filmed, they're primarily in their, um, what's it called? The Justice League building that they have. Mm -hmm. The tower? Do they call it the Watchtower? Is it the Watchtower? What do they call it? I don't remember what they called it, but while they were in there, you can tell that it was new footage and that they had fixed Alex's makeup. <laughs> I think that there's a lot of people 
caught off guard by that makeup originally. <laughs> so. But they fixed it? Yeah, so... It, it's interesting eye makeup. But even Nia has interesting eye makeup going on. So. Yeah, I don't, I don't have to look and see. So you here mean it's she not has, so big? Is that what you mean? So here she has her eyebrows done in black, right? And with the shadow of contrast, black coming down through here and then filled in. Uh, and then while they're in, like, the Fortress of Solitude. Uh, no. I lied. Back in, like... The Whenever first they're Fortress saving. of Solitude? Yeah. Either that or Saving Brainy. Yeah. It's just all blue throughout. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what they're doing with the makeup, what their plans are or anything, but, like, I didn't notice. You said at one point, like, it changed, too? Like, yeah, through the scene? It's not through the scene, just, like, different scenes being shot. It was different. I mean, like, here at the Fortress, it's a little less, it looks like. Not so much. So you can you tell know. that that was new footage, I'm assuming. New footage. I, don't, I mean, I can't tell that this is new footage necessarily. It's just that the makeup's done differently. But I don't know if that's necessarily... I don't know which one's which. I don't know what... I, I don't know why. Like, they could just do a domino mask. And then you just do it all black inside, and it won't matter. Kind of similar to, like... Like, Nia has like that domino mask kind of thing, right? Like, But she also has unique uh, makeup going on with that as well. I mean, not really, but it's mainly the mask. And then usually what they'll do is they'll kind of darken under the mask here. Right. Right? Either black or you could do like a dark blue or something. So I'm kind of surprised they don't do more like that. So what's just unique don't give her with her is that she has, um, they took blue eyeliner and created the cat eye type look. And they left it hollow without filling it in. So that's what's unique about hers. But anyway. anyway enough about cosmetics. I'm not talking about makeup anymore. I'm done with that. We're going to talk about, we think it was Sentinel. I like the name. I and, feel like we've met a sentinel before. Uh, Not in Supergirl, though. It's like a shield. You know? With like yeah. a star on it, kind of, the symbol. Like, I'm trying to look at what it is. It's one of two things. It reminds me of like a shield kind of thing. Or, or it reminds goblet. me of two hands. like Caressing a goblet. Yeah, of holding wine. a goblet or something. <laughs> like, it's interesting. I like that. But I That's like. What I, see. I mean, she moved away from the DEO, right? That was the last season, I believe. Right. When the she left DEO the... is destroyed now, right? Mm, no, Lex took it over. Because last season, Lex and Brainy took it over. She left because she didn't want to work with Lex anymore. Brainy stayed because he was working with Lex. Mm -hmm. um, and then she started going more on her own with Jean and coming here to the Watchtower. I thought the and DEO stuff. ended up exploding or something. Um, anyway. I don't believe so. Um. So, uh, like, what they're doing with her character and stuff, I'm interested, especially if they're going to make her more of a superhero kind of thing. I like her little mechanic of, like, being able to just make whatever tool she needs kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So the, that's a cool, like, power that she can use. It seems too convenient at times, but mm. I, I like it. Yeah, but it's usually, it's a weapon, right? It's like whatever weapon I can make. I mean, she was able to put the anti-life equation into the uh, computer there at the beginning. Yeah, but is that a weapon? I guess so. See, I'm yeah. saying, like, okay. it's, it's like, what can I use as a weapon? <laughs> I made this. And, like, that's, that's like the MacGuffin of it. If you can use it as a weapon, so it's like, I'm going to use a weapon. I'm going to hit him with a book. Pow. I mean, yeah, him. you can use this as a weapon. So I mean, Sure. Like, I just, like, I mean, this wouldn't do very well. I mean, Rick broke it. But, um, I don't know. It's just, it's an interesting idea. And she doesn't have any other powers otherwise, except for just. That's, that's true. So, let her have weapons. Yeah, she is like the guardian. Like, if anything, maybe they should have called her Arsenal. You know, instead of... Uh, yeah, that's true. I'd like that. <laughs> so, that could have been, like, just because she just makes... Like, she made that thing to shoot Lex, but, like, it was still shooting Lex and it was, it was using it as a weapon, right? So... Mm -hmm. um, Elena. Lex, I don't know if we're going to be having him in prison and not have him at all. I don't know if we're going to be using him more in the next season... I hope last we season or still whatever. have them because John Cryer does such an amazing job yeah. at this. That thing. was going as I like. I like the way he portrays Lex a lot. He has like those witty remarks, and he has like that ego, mm -hmm. and he has he's just kind of fun to watch. And Supergirl's always I feel like had like fairly decent characters, even if like 
I can pinpoint CGI is a little weird, wo- weird or wonky, or if I can be like, yeah. well, you know, the choreography is not the best because they're also using super powered people, so they're doing CGI choreography and not like true. It's not like Arrow where it's like, man, the choreography in Arrow, it's a lot of fun. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's it's more so of like, oh well, Supergirl has some really cool characters, and usually the story beats and stuff that kind of revolve around each other fit pretty well. Yeah. So I'm glad Lena is not gonna be what Lena was. Yeah. I'm glad that she's working with the team and she will be a huge asset to the team. So it's great to have her around again. Uh, I loved I loved her punting Lex. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then turning to Alex and being like, Oh, I'm sorry, did you wanna do that? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, oh I love it so much. I'm sorry, do you wanna do that? No, and it fits well because we also had Lex where he's like, like, they're like, you can't kill Lena. It's like, she killed me first. Yeah. You know, she like, it's just the way both of them are in the, like, last season, maybe some of the season before, I don't know, whenever it started with Lena being like, all about not against, like, against Supergirl and about trying to like, stop everyone from fighting each other and went through all that kind of arc stuff and then mm. like, they never talked and trusted each other and all these things going on. I'm glad that we've kind of gotten past that and I like that she kept on like, Thank you so much for trusting me. Thank you so much for trusting me. And Supergirl's just like, shut up. Let's We're done. Move on. We're done with this. You know, like that was kind of like the the general sense of that. I feel like. Yeah. But it didn't stop Lena from using Marianne without anyone's permission to help clear the the Kara identity from him. Yeah, I still like. Is that evil? <laughs> like, no. It, no, Doesn't it's justice. Right. What did what did, what was Lex doing? He was messing with everyone's minds. So they loved him. So what did she do? She messed their minds. So he forgot who Supergirl was. Yeah, but I mean, they work as a team. I feel like being you, using myriad. Are you say Car is gonna be mad that she did that? No, I don't think so. I just think that she's not working as a team yet. That was a team thing that she decided to do, and it's. I would say if there's a line. And it's like, here's the bad stuff Lena does, and here's the good stuff Lena does. It's like right here on the line. It's on the line. Where it's it's like, for sure on the but line. But she didn't take it. She didn't kill him. Last time she killed him. This time she's just like, boop. So, I'm fine with it. She killed me first. Um, we, I do. I'm sorry. Good. I do like how um, Lillian was wanting to save Lena, and not wanting to kill sure. Lena off. Um, was she there visiting Lex? She last season decided to help him, right? No, 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 in the prison. Oh. Like, he looked like he was in prison while she looked like she was visiting, being like, in normal Hey, clothes. son, how are you? You know, like, yeah. he looks. And I was like, She's not in prison. Didn't, didn't he break her out or didn't something happen? Like, shouldn't she be in jail? But I don't know. I don't know. I guess he owns the guards. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, yeah, that's true. What do you think we're going to have happen with that last Will Crystal thing? Like, volume one, you know? Like, it felt like one of those things where it's like we see it later on when we don't have Kara anymore, but we phantom zoned her with the idea of getting her back. So I feel like we're going to get Kara back, but I'm not sure what we're going to do with that crystal. Yeah. Especially since uh, Alex didn't want to, like, listen to it. So it doesn't seem like it's going to be made for her being gone here. I wonder if we get her back and she actually does die and then we have the crystal or what. Because we didn't get to hear anything that she was saying in the crystal. That's true. Yeah, it does seem like a very future thing. But for what purpose, I don't know. Like, But she didn't finish her volume. She only finished one volume. So I wonder if it's going to end up being in the future. We do end up using Car- losing Kara. And then Alex finishes like the storyline of her sister. Maybe. Because she only got one volume recorded. And then this is what I remember Kara doing. This is how to be a good superhero. It <laughs> could make sense too if, because we talk about, about Superman and Lois, how there's not really any connection, it seems, except for like, that is, uh, oh no, I just forgot his name. Tyler Lachlan? Tyler. The guy that Tyler. plays Superman? Anyway. Yeah, Tyler being Superman, Lois is being still the same Lois. Silhouette, yeah. But like, there's some di- different instances where it's like, well, couldn't Kara have been here or anything like that? Like, what if it's like that is actually, and they haven't said it, but what if that's actually the future? 
And the reason Kara hasn't been in that show at all yet is because she's actually died at, by the end of the season. And there's like a few year gap in between the two. That's true. It's and we possible. Don't know. But I still don't understand why they didn't talk about uh, her pregnancy on Argus. Is that Argo? The planet. Remember, Argo. they had to go to the planet for her pregnancy yeah. because she had yeah. was carrying Kryptonite, uh, Kryptonian she had babies. babies. Yeah. So, like, I'm like, why didn't they even mention that? That has nothing to do with Kara. But no, like, why? whenever they were doing the flashback at the very first two minutes of the show, like, they didn't even mention that. So, yeah. I mean, it's not important in that. It's sense, not important, so. but I it just distances itself from Supergirl. Sure. I think the idea is especially if you want to go that way and that's why you don't have things connected as much as it's actually in the future and it can be on its own. There's also that one has if you compare this Supergirl to that Superman show like budget wise it's just Oh incredibly different. Tremendously different shots chosen differently. Uh, oh it's like a whole everything. different network. <laughs> so. it, it's gorgeous. This Definitely one, recommend watching Superman and Lois. It's a wonderful show. Supergirl has a little bit more of like a uh, Dean Cain's uh, Lois and Clark, The Adventures of Lois and Clark, or whatever it was called from like TNT or whatever it was. Star Dean Cain. I feel like this this is a little bit more like that. Whereas Superman and Lois feels a little bit more Man of Steely with like the color grade they use yeah, and some of the stuff they do. But it's still really good cinematic. with the characters. I like a lot. Mm -hmm. Story wise, it's been really fun. So. Like, if you haven't checked that one out, check it out. It's pretty good. Yeah. I feel like Supergirl's covers a lot more petty drama. Hmm. Some. Like. But, I mean, that's. But it's also the beginning of Superman and Lois, so maybe we'll end up with that in, like, filler episodes and whatnot in the future. Versus Supergirl, I feel like with such long seasons, you get those filler episodes. I kind of. Yeah, but the way you don't do that is when you do pods. Whenever you so, do pods or shorter seasons, pod some things or just make like a like a have a compelling well, story. Episode. You could do a longer one if you wanted to. You just gotta make sure that it's there's lots of things to have happen. And Superman and Lois has done a really good job of like this is an interesting story going on, and there's not really a villain Superman's fighting right now. Right. You know, like there's nothing like there's not like a freak of the week thing necessarily going on typically, and mm -hmm. like it's it's been very interesting. So, um. Back to this, uh, we did have a mention of uh, Malefic going, uh, talking to him, the uh, Uh Nothing really from him that we got, but there was someone who mounted a rescue into the Phantom Zone. Yeah, who? I, I don't know necessarily who that could be, but it did feel like, well, we got Magan going out and looking, so we may be getting someone being pulled back over. Here's who our help is going to be. And it, I mean, it could be a Martian. It could be it another... It could be Easter egg. Woo! It could be anybody, you know? Yeah, <laughs> like... and it's almost Easter, so it makes sense. I'm super excited to see who it is, and I feel like we should know who it is. I feel like there's been so many people in and out of the Phantom Zone that it could be. I mean, maybe. I mean, I don't know who Sentinel is. I don't think. You know, like, it, it sounds familiar, but I'm also thinking, like, oh, well, X-Men had Sentinels. Like, those were the big, giant robots that were... So maybe I'm just thinking of that, and that's why I think it sounds familiar. But... So, I don't know. I don't know. Um... But no, I mean, I think as far as like what this, what Supergirl did, like, if I look at this compared to like Flash, there was some weird moments in Supergirl, but I think the way they kind of wrapped things up and finished off what I feel like is finishing off last season, I feel like is feels better, makes more sense than like what Flash had handled. Um, just like with the way the villain is and the way they wrap it up, yeah. the way they defeat him. Like, they defeat Leviathan basically last episode at the end of the season, with the exception of Gemma. Gemma. But what could have been, like, oh, okay, well, we're going to take, I don't know, I think they had, like, 19 or 18 episodes last season. We're going to take three more episodes, defeat Gemma, then defeat Lex, and lead us into what the next season's going to be. They were just like, all right, well, let's just let's defeat Gemma really quick, show that Lex has some powers, make a plan to fight Lex, fight him, send her to the Phantom Zone, we're done. You know, like, they just kind of, like, let's smoosh it into one episode, get it done with, move into our next season. Yeah. Whereas, like, Flash kind of still had, like, a few episodes where, like, this, 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 and we wrap it up. That was kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, I'm glad to have Brainy back. Brainy did not die. He was just in that room, dying. 
Uh, we had a new power, I think, from Nia that we've never seen, where she did like a phase through the door. Well, it wasn't. A, it wasn't that she phased through. Is that she did like a astral projection? She's always yeah. had like those dream sequences where she's seen the future and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But I don't think we've ever seen her like astral project out of her body like that. Yeah. Not that I remember. And then she had to make herself like enough physical presence to actually put her Interact. hand on the door because first she went through and then she's like nope that's not working yeah so at the very so. least that part is new because maybe she like maybe her dreams and astral projection because she's seen people in danger and stuff before like is there a sense of astral projection that she's doing there but she's not interacting with anything like this is like could she possibly like be somewhere safe send her like astral projection somewhere to be able to help someone and like assist them or fight or something like that yeah, so like maybe gone up with uh john and mcgon yeah or and helped up there in space safely. Could, <gasps> could she be able to astral project while controlling her body and fight with herself like two of her like sparring. Uh, uh, not sparring no like <laughs> her and her take on a villain together you know oh gotcha like, she's fighting with herself. Like, we're going to take on Lex or whoever. Like, yeah, that'd be cool. I don't know if she, like, I imagine what it is, like, she, like, goes to sleep. Because she has, like, like oh, narcolepsy or whatever kind of thing where she just would pass out. So, like, that could be interesting. I don't know. Hopefully we'll see it again in the future. And yeah. They can do some fun things with it. Um, Catco is still around. And Cat Grant. <laughs> yeah. She, uh, Andrea had her dad, like, she sold all of the shares to him. Ugh. Which, I mean, okay, so is that an <coughs> evil move, Aaron? I mean, her dad was kind of a jerk, but sure, yeah, it was, probably. I mean, she also did some bad things, so. It's weird, too, because, like, I'm trying to remember the storyline for her. There was, like, part of the season, she was, like, aware of what was going on. Right. And then part of the season, she was, like, unaware of what was going on. Like, she was, like, a victim versus, like, being compliant. You know what I mean? And, like, Crisis, she also... <coughs> a lot of things changed after Crisis, right? No, yeah. Like, there was a... She had to rediscover her powers again. Yeah. Right? There was, like, she had to rediscover... She had to discover she had powers versus another one where, like, she just knew she had powers. Yeah, she already had Yeah. Them. There was, so, like, that's just the thing. Like, it's two different ways where I'm, like, trying to remember how it went through because she... Like, she was saying here, she's like, I, you know, gave everything for him and this mm-hmm. and that. and But she was also kind of bad in some ways. And yeah, I, I don't, don't remember her storyline. Yeah. Where she is. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll see how she is. Uh, they mentioned Cat Grant. I wonder if maybe we get her back before things end. Could we get Jimmy back before things end? Um I think you have too much hope. <laughs> well, just when you wrap things up, like what kind of nod backs do you do to different things? True. Could we get um, the singing guy? When? Singing guy. <laughs> That'd be nice. I mean, we had him reappear last season. Yeah. Monel. So. Yeah. You know, there was like that kind of love interest with William. Will there be something with that? Like, you're going to have her, like, continue that love interest when she comes back, if she comes back, and then, like, she dies or anything? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I really cannot predict what's going to happen in this season, especially with it being final season. Yeah. And the fact that our lead actor is in limbo, you know? The (laughs) the only reason I think that maybe she dies by the end of it is because we have that crystal that we haven't seen what the message is. Yeah. It was the same reason why I'm like, oh my gosh, they're going to like try to kill her off in this episode or something? Because they had like, they had the talk with Lena, they had mm-hmm. talking with Alex, they had the love you, uh, see you later. Like The just, see you later is what was, did me in. It was very pinpointing, like there was like a thing where it's like, oh man, look at how much they love each other and care. And like, it feels like lots of shows do that where they try to like build up that emotion so that when something terrible happens, it like pushes you over the edge a little bit. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know, it was just like that. And then they did the the uh, kryptonite like laser thing. That was kind of like the uh, oh Lexus. Yeah. Gotcha. Then they did that. We're like, oh no, she's dead. And then she wasn't because they had a little robot man. Little and then uh, <laughs> sun drone. And then they brought the Phantom Zone thing, and I'm like, oh no, it's like there's Alex versus Lex. Alex is gonna go to the Phantom Zone. That's what the you know I'll see you later, I love you kind of thing was about. And then. 
with the hit sending her in there, I'm like, oh, okay, well, so we did do something with Kara. So it was kind of like, okay, well, I feel like something's going to happen. What's going to happen? But now, all right, well, the idea is that we're going to save her from the Phantom Zone. I imagine we'll succeed in that. But why do we have this crystal for, like, yeah. the last will thing? Or is it just going to be, I still like, predict it's going to be Alex finishing out. Like, we do lose Supergirl, and Alex has to finish. Maybe. I mean, maybe you do that, and then... I don't know. And then, like, well, we have Superman. That's, like, that part for the Justice League kind of stuff. But Supergirl died, and... I don't know. We'll have to see. It'll be interesting. They There's a lot of different directions that they can go from this point. So, I'm still excited to see who they bring in. Unless it is Superman that they bring in. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Who's been in the Phantom Zone? He's busy with the other stuff. Um, I don't think we're going to get too much crossover stuff or anything. No. So, at the most, if we did lose Car at the end, and the way to signify that there is like a time jump between this and Superman and Lois, um, is that you have her funeral... And you have Superman, Lois, and the kids there, but you have the kids younger. You, yeah. Then you can easily tell, like, oh, look, this was those kids are four or five years old. This must be a ten-year gap between this and Superman, Lois, you know, or something along those lines. And then you have some explanations. Year. No, they're like fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. So if they're like four or five, you have like a ten-year gap. Getting drunk at fourteen. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure one of the kids said they were fourteen years old. Jeez. So I, they're like in that. 15 years old range, right? They're like junior, like freshman I in high school. Their friends could drive. What friends? You never had friends that could drive in high school when you were 15, 14 years old? How you can drive at 15 and a half? Not all by yourself. Yeah. I thought it was 16. You got you got your permit at 15 and a half and then you could drive at 16. Number 1 comic book movie shows is fake anyway so who knows in a small two world. you didn't get your license till you were like 20 18 yeah so how would you know <laughs> i was driving around somewhere some point or something well i mean didn't mean i didn't drive <laughs> so it doesn't matter then let's do q and a's all right guys so as i mentioned uh beginning of the uh video we have our q and a's that we do for live videos we have them for this for flash for Batwoman, uh, Superman Lois when it comes back, all that good stuff. Make sure you guys follow us over on Twitter down in the description below. You can find a link, um, and we'll talk about some problems, thoughts, questions, concerns, whatever you guys got uh, for the end of the episode. So with this one, we have hashtag Supergirl Q&A from DK Lounge, who says, uh, with this being the final season, what loose ends do you want to see tied up before the end of the series? Is there any loose ends specifically that you're like, ooh, this we never covered. I want to see that. Um, you kind of brought up a couple, Jimmy Olsen and Cat Grant, kind of. Yeah, like Cat Grant like went to go do other them. things. Like, those aren't necessarily loose ends. ends no. Um, loose ends. Like, I'm uh, trying to think of story lines that are kind of still in limbo. Limbo. I think the main thing I would want, uh, is just kind of getting a good feeling of the. Superman and Lois and Supergirl and what connections they have. Yeah. Because they feel so distant from each other so far. Um, and the main reason I want to know that is just because, like, I have the connections already with, like, the Arrowverse characters, you know, the Arrow, Flash, Supergirl, yeah. Legends, all that. And I want to know, like, how they can connect into it. Like, we have Stargirl. Stargirl is actually pretty good. Yeah. Um, start off... Um, maybe started off a little rougher than it ended, but I don't know. It was a good show, I thought. Characters were good. The choreography was pretty fun and all that. But, like, that one seems to be set in, like, another Earth. I just want to know, like, is this one another Earth? Where, like, well, we could connect these and cross them over at some point if we really wanted to, but it's not something that's generally going to happen because they're on other Earths, right? Same idea of, like, whenever we found out Supergirl was on another Earth. Flash came over before... Yeah. You know, they brought them together for major crossover events. But, like, we've lost the ability for, like, like Arrow's not going to have crossovers with Flash like they used to because Arrow's gone. I was going to say, wait, how so would they do that? So, if we have the Flash going on when before we had Flash and Supergirl were the only ones that could cross over, oh, well, now Flash can't cross over with Supergirl because Supergirl's gone. Um, I think Black Lightning's going to be ending. So now Flash couldn't cross over with Black Lightning, even though that's supposedly been brought into the same universe, but has been very lacking as far as, like, connections that I know of. But I also am missing season three and four that's 
just started up recently, I think. So. Yeah. I think it just started up I recently. I think it just started. So, like, there's a few things with that where I'm like, I think my main question is, like, how is this universe connected, if it's connected? Because um, if Superman and Supergirl's universes are connected, and that's the easiest way I feel like to pinpoint them because of cousins, right? Right. It'd be cool to be able to know, like, oh, well, Grant Gustin can show up with Tyler and they can do something, you know? It's like, that'd be cool to know. Versus just, like, well, it's only able to happen during major crossover events like Crisis and Elseworlds and whatever else. I don't know. Like, the quality and everything, like, the feel of the Superman show is so different than all the rest of this. Like, the sure. writing's different. But the- imagine bringing Grant Gr- Gustin over into Superman and Lois and having, like, him be over there doing some stuff. And they think, like, all right, we're going to up a little bit of the quality here for his, like, well, zoomy zoomies. What about whenever they brought, who plays The Flash and Justice League? In the movies? Yeah. Ezra Miller? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, whenever they brought him into... Crisis? Crisis. Yeah. Like, it, it, it felt weird. <laughs> like, so. it was like, that's an intentional cameo. <laughs> So, I don't know. No, yeah. So, I don't know. I'm just wondering, like, it was always fun to have, like, little crossovers with, like, Arrow and Flash where it wasn't, like, a major crossover event. It was just, like, the connecting of the worlds. Whether it was, like, oh, look, we have Felicity over here at Flash for, like, two episodes. Or, you know, hey, you know, Cisco, help me with this. And over on, like, Supergirl's episodes or something like that. Like, just things like that I thought was always cool to have. Like we've said before, just even as simple as Kara Danvers wrote this article. Yeah, what? for Batwoman, right? Yeah. Like, it's just having those little connections between them. Not even necessarily having, like, major crossover events where they got to get together to fight a villain, mm-hmm. but just knowing they're connected yeah. and being able to see some connectivity in the world between it all is really fun. But again, like you said, this is Superman's, like, 14, 16 years in the future, so. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that would be the way they could tie it in if that's what they're wanting to do. Oh, no, no, no. I I mean, it's harder to connect what's happening now and all these other shows whenever Superman is 16 years in the future. If. If. If it is. Okay. There's no guarantee that it is because we had the kids being born before. Mm -hmm. But then with Crisis, a lot of kids would be like, well, they had kids earlier. And we don't really know. True. But if what they want to say is that by the end of this... If we say, oh, look, here's the kids, and they're, like, four years old, we know there's a gap between the two. But starting off in Superman and Lois, it's like, oh, man, why are these kids so old? That seems weird. But you could just be like, Crisis did stuff. <laughs> now they have old kids. Because they also only had one kid, I think, originally. And then Crisis is like, hey, the boys are hungry. Oh, the boys? Yeah, You know, it's like, what's that mean? So, like, you can always just go, Crisis. But it's the events <laughs> after Crisis now, how are they connected that we don't know? Yeah. You know? So that, that's the thing I'm waiting for. Um, the Overseer says, Dreamer's new abilities are dope. Kind of reminded me of Negative Man from Doom Patrol. My question is, the message that Kara left in the fortress felt like foreshadowing. With this being the final season of Supergirl, do you think Kara could die in the finale? Yeah, we've been talking a lot about that. We're kind of on the same page. I think it's a possibility. It very well could be, especially since uh, they didn't want to use it here. It was like, don't play that. Mm-hmm. She's not dead. Which implies, like, we will play that when she's dead. Yeah, exactly. So, how else do you end a Supergirl thing but to, like... Because, like, if you keep her alive and it ends, like, oh, well, Supergirl's still out there. Like, she's still doing stuff. So, I don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. My biggest reasoning of thinking that maybe she dies is because of that... Test, that will and testament yeah. crystal thing that she did. <laughs> She'd be glad that I stopped her. It was so dry and boring. <laughs> Uh, Anthony says, do you think we could see other characters come back for the finale of Supergirl, like Monel, uh, Barry, or Clark? Hmm. I hope we get... I hope we get some kind of cool villain thing. Like, where... What Arrow did was really cool, even though they only had, what, eight or ten episodes for their final season? Oh, yeah. Right? It's like, they kind of did this... Because of Crisis coming up, they mm-hmm. had, like, this kind of, like, teleporting through other worlds 
that were reminiscent of seasons mm -hmm. where you got to see these other villains and characters and stuff and it worked really well yeah um, I loved oh, I thought that was, was really cool so good I don't and it was the only thing that helped you follow and lead up to crisis so I, I yeah I it don't know if you can do that in Supergirl however I don't necessarily know all the rules of this Phantom Zone they have True. So maybe like the Phantom Zone could mess with you. Maybe you could get visions of other things. Maybe you have to fight your biggest fears. You know, I whatever. I guess she did say that she spent ten years in the Phantom Zone, like right? seeing the destruction, seeing the destruction, and then again and again for. A and decade. being a kid, if that's like your biggest fear or the biggest thing that ever like like impact on your life, like mm -hmm. maybe that's what happens. So because could she you... was older, whenever her planet got destroyed she was like 14 i think she was old enough to remember it versus like clark that was an infant yeah. he wouldn't be able to imagine that but that's where she got stuck in her pod right yes before she, she made when it she Earth. got blown off the planet and stuff and everyone else took off like clark went and she went and she went back into the thing and then somehow she get, escaped out of it but no yeah what I, like what i was thinking too was like could you have it where the phantom zone shows you your greatest fears or you have to relive major events of your life or something and then you could have ways of where like she has to fight off this villain or that villain or she has to confront some kind of fear with like i don't know like clark or jimmy or something you know mm -hmm. like you could do that and still kind of have like oh man these points these these bits here and it could be a little reminiscent of the series as a whole yeah so as of right now that's the only thing i can think of but um, I would like to have at least Jimmy show back up before the end of it. I know he left before because he was doing Mortal Kombat. He's done filming that, right? That's coming Mortal out Mortal Kombat soon. comes out like next month slash, yeah. Like we're not in April yet, so it comes out like next month. So he's probably doing touring? Do they still do that? Like before the movie comes out, go around answering questions, blah, blah, blah. No, no one's doing nothing now. <laughs> usually you do that at, like, sad, usually they do that world. at cons and stuff too, and since it's coming out next month, it's... Not, I don't think they're doing anything. So maybe he could come back and do something with his big old mustache. <laughs> he, he grew like a, this huge mustache. I didn't even recognize him in the trailer. You're yeah. like, you know who that is. You know who that is. I'm like, I have no idea who that is. Um, Buddy says, so we know they have, uh, they all have logos in the watchtower to communicate with one another. What kind of reaction would they have if they tried to communicate with Kate and Ryan answered? And do you think we will get a reaction to Kate's death slash disappearance from Kara? Um, huh. Well, the last thing we... There's another one of those things, too, where we don't necessarily know passing of time things, right? Like, in Batwoman, I believe it was said that Kate left to go talk to Kara about the kryptonite. Mm -hmm. So she was coming from National City, right? That's the city she's in, I believe, right? I believe so. So she was coming from National City, coming back to Gotham, and that's when her plane got hit. So, like, is that a thing that happened before the events of here? Is that something that happens after this point? Like, I don't know when that occurs, necessarily. So, whether... I don't know. It's always a, it's always a tricky thing with, like, the timeline of everything. Because you got to make sure in individual shows you're like okay we got to make sure there's enough time here that passes so that this event can occur, but Batwoman you had here's the end of the episode or the season the next one doesn't take up right after whereas this one takes up right after yeah so do we get a gap between this episode and next episode to kind of cover that passing of time or do we not and we continue going as if nothing happened you know like and if that's the case then does that passing of time in Batwoman mean that that's actually ahead a little bit more than what Supergirl is. Maybe, because maybe Supergirl is behind and that we'll end up, we have Alex set up to be a superhero and help kind of fill the shoes. So maybe we'll do like a time lapse whenever they're still trying to figure things out yeah. and they can't figure things out because that's the Phantom Zone. Well, so then time lapse for like a year or something. No, too long. <laughs> Batwoman first season like the first half of the season before Crisis, um, there was a segment where like this all takes place before the last season of Arrow and Supergirl and Flash because they had Elseworlds where they came here and Batwoman's already here and established. Whereas we have to establish Batwoman and have her do some stuff before the events of this crossover from last season <laughs> and then have more before the events of crossover for this season. So it's a trick timeline for this stuff is so tricky. It's hard to tell where's what. 
Uh, Dr. Winchester says Kara being stuck in the Phantom Zone could explain why she wasn't at a funeral. Uh, yeah. Which makes sense, too. That's a possibility. Um, I'd wondered about that as well. If you have that as a thing, or if there is a time jump, because like that takes place after this season, and if she does die, like those are, like, there could be multiple reasons. It's just yeah. waiting to see, like, do we see what those are? I think th- that's the thing. Like When you're talking about loose, like what loose threads... I'm really curious on that because I liked the relationship they kind of put between Tyler and Kara, uh, Melissa, oh, oh, Superman, okay. Kara. I'm like Cal. half the time I don't know if you're talking actor names or uh, stage names. Yeah. Like. <laughs> so, like I like them together, so I want to see a little bit more about that. Uh, Mel of the Dark Triad said, "Did you catch the reference to the anti-life equation? Think we'll get any other references to Dark Side? No, yeah." Um, it was one of those things I'm like, angel life equation. Yeah. Like, did they mention that before last season? I don't remember that. I don't remember it. The last time I remember hearing about it was Harley Quinn, right? Uh, I mean, last time I remember hearing about it was when we were talking about the Snyder Cut. We were like, oh, it could, it could be the angel life equation kind of thing. Like, we were talking about that kind of stuff there. Um, but yeah, I don't think in any of CW-verse stuff we've ever had anti life equations. So when they mentioned that, I'm like, the what? But it didn't seem to be a dark side thing. No. It didn't, it didn't it feel dark just, side, did it? It was just kind of Brainiac doing Brainiac stuff. Because <laughs> I feel like that's something I would have written down. Anti-life equation, 512. Oh. Is that all you have? Alex quit the DEO, I'm assuming. Anti-life equation? What? Van Eck? Who the heck is that? I don't know. Mm-hmm. And Alex Quinn, D.O., Toy Man, Win Leaving. So that was back when Win was around. Toy Man equals Win. So it could have been a reference to the anti life equation, Perhaps. not a usage of it. Could have been mentioning, could have been a few things. Because they also utilized, oh, wait, didn't the Toy Man go in and become a computer? Like, yeah. Like an AI computer virus y kind of thing. Like maybe that's related to the anti life I don't know. Maybe. I kind of forget a little bit of that being brought up middle of last season. Um, but this one here, like, I, I don't think any life equation here has had anything to do with Dark Side. Mm. But it, I don't even think Dark Side's been mentioned in this. No, and I don't know if that that one lady was she ever called Granny Goodness, or we just call her Granny. We goodness? just called I think her, we just Granny, called her goodness. Granny Goodness too. Yeah. So even that isn't actually a reference to Granny to Dark Side either. No. So. We're like, holy crap, she'd make the perfect granny goodness. <laughs> she didn't even have a box or anything, right? Like a mother box no, or anything. we haven't anything, had any of that kind so. of stuff, so. Um, Johnny J says, do you think this season will lead into Superman and Lois? That's one of my possible, like, outcomes of this, um, as far as loose threads and things we could tie up and whatnot. I'll just read this because it's kind of funny. Dally says, honestly, I don't know what to ask you guys, except do you watch Grey's Anatomy? And did you notice that the guy that was helping Luther's mom was a doctor on Grey's, if you watch it? Or, if you don't, how badass was Lena punching Lex? <laughs> so. Wait, there's a guy that was helping Lena's mom? I think they mean Lex is and Lena's mom? Yeah, I think they mean Otis. I don't know if Otis is a doctor on Grey's Anatomy. Or oh. Not. I've never watched Grey's yeah. Anatomy, so I don't know. I don't know. It's been many years. I stopped at, like, season six. I think they're on, like, 11. <laughs> Um, Jack Fern says, what do you think about Lena taking away Lex's knowledge of him knowing Supergirl's identity? Yeah. I'm okay with it, but Melanie seemed to have other thoughts. I I think we both agreed that it was on the line. (laughs) Melanie didn't like it. It was not very team ethic. She thinks Lena's evil. No, I don't think that she's evil. I just don't think that she works well as a team. And she never has. But I love Lena. I I love Lena. (laughs) She's probably, between her and Nia, would be my two favorite actors on this show. Hmm. Uh, Logan says, how do you like Alex's superhero name? And how long do you think it will take Kara to get out of the Phantom Zone in terms of episodes? Uh, Do you like Sentinel as a name? I like Sentinel as a name, but I agree with you. I think Arsenal would have been better. I I like the idea (laughs) just because, like... The other arsenal I know, not actually in uh, the Arrowverse, mm-hmm. uh, 
works well because of the uh, the arm thing, right? Like he had an arm thing that he could like and shoot stuff with. He didn't get that in Arrow. Right. You know, so uh, having uh, Alex who can just kind of make a weapon, like she made like she's made guns. Didn't she make a rocket she launcher? Just fabricates whatever I think she, she wants. made like a sword or spear or something. One, I don't know. She ma- she's made some different things. Like that to me is Arsenal right there. Yeah. So I think that would be a good name, but might be already taken. So Sentinels, pretty good. I suppose Sentinel works. Always standing your post. And I'm hoping that this will have more meaning in the future as well. Sure. So, like, and she lives up. It's giving her her own identity, too. She's not just, like, a faceless just hero. Because before she was with the DEO. Right. So, like, her entity was leading the DEO. But now she doesn't have that. So, like, who is she? She kind of needs something. Yeah. So. Um, how long do you think Kara will be in the fam zone? And Let's say we then? have... I don't know how many episodes it's going to be. Let's say we have 21 episodes. You think it's so, going to be that long? Okay. I said, let's say. Okay. I said, I don't know. Let's say. If we have a 21 so we episode have 20 episodes season, left. then I think it will take us like 12 episodes. Like 12? halfway through. I'll say five. Even if it's a 20 some season? Yep. I think if. Because what happens is we spend five episodes getting her out, but when we get her out, we release something else, and now we have to finish that off for the mm-hmm. rest of the season. So, regardless however long the season is, but that's the I question. still <laughs> sorry, I <laughs> still think it will be 50%. 50%? Of the season. Well, no, that's why I said, like, let's say we have 20 episodes yeah. left. Yeah, so, percentage-wise, I say about half the season she'll be, we'll be having to find a way to get her out. And then watch it be like next episode. <laughs> Lover Sushimi says if this episode was supposed to be part of season five finale, was this their way of making a way for Melissa Benoist to go on maternity leave, yeah. or just simply a way of trying not to worry about hiding her belly in the show, or maybe both, because she was pregnant around that time before the shutdown. That's exactly why I think it would be about half the season. Um, because then she would want maternity leave to actually be with her. We've already baby. done it. No, we've already done it. But I don't know, like, I don't know what all they're keeping from filming before and what all COVID has affected and whatnot. No. So that's yeah. why I think. I think we're going to see her in the Phantom Zone. So I don't think it, I don't think maternity leave is going to be a thing for we'll it. The thing we did there, have that we but covered. Half of her. No, the thing we covered a lot, though, was like. With her being pregnant and different stuff, too, we had her in her suit a whole lot. We also put her in the suit this time, too, Mm -hmm. which may have been a remnant of doing that. Because that's the thing, too. I don't know, like, what was filmed versus, like, did they film this more recently? Or did they film this way back when? And they had to cover some stuff up and whatnot, too. So there may have been some filming choices that they kept in, but it was more because, like, well, we better do this so that we can do this. Because you could have, like, put her in her suit, Mm-hmm. And then we fly around CGI, and you don't notice anything because she's in a CGI suit. Mm, sure. You know, and it's easier to hide belly. I mean, they did a whole different actor in the side that CGI suit before. They did. <laughs> yeah, no, we had her when she was gone for a while where she was just in a, stuck in a suit for like two, three episodes. So, um, I don't think it was that long. It was like two episodes at least. At least! Because she had kryptonite poisoning. No, kryptonite was in the air as opposed to love. Okay. Pepsi Queen says, how do you feel about Alex telling Kelly that Kara is Supergirl? See, I did not know for sure if that's what they were referring to, is Mm -hmm. having them tell Kelly that, or the fact that, Alex, you need to tell Kelly that you're being a vigilante. I think she knows that. The thing that she doesn't know was what Lena was saying. It's like, I I removed them from knowing this, whatever, but with that, you should tell the Kara thing. Like, that's what she was saying. So, like, telling that Kara is because she needs someone to talk to, and that should be the the person that she's, like, shouldn't have secrets from is who she should make sure she mm-hmm. tells, like, all oh, this, this is my sister. Because, like, what happens when you're like, hey, let's go over to Kara's house for dinner? It's like, oh, well, can't. Like, and then, but she's like, well, wh- where's Kara? It's like, with Cat Grant doing a story. But then she's, like, all mopey and sad and stuff. It's like, what's wrong? It's like, I just miss Kara. It's like, why? She just call her up. It's like, I can't, you know? Like, there's, there's lots of yeah. lies weaving in and out. And if you live with the person, it's even harder. And- like, for a show standpoint, I'm glad that they're doing it that way because 
like you said, it's going to be messy and mm-hmm. annoying if they don't. But in a way, I kind of feel like Kelly's going to say, Alex, I already know. <laughs> so I think telling her is going to go very smoothly. Versus telling Lena it was the end of the world. So Yeah, but the problem was no one told her. She found out. You know, like that was, I think that's what like really drove her over the edge was that her best friend didn't tell her. She found out from like Lex or whatever being like, look. And then she's like, pow. Or maybe she was like, pow. And then she's like, no. I don't know. <laughs> like, whichever, whatever way it happened. All right. Um, last question I'll cover here is from Caramel who says, Aaron, Melanie, would you guys be willing to do the mind melding thing that Jean Magan did? Would you do it? I mean, probably. We've been together so long. That I'd do it. We, our minds would be completely open to each other, they said. Because I know all your secrets, browser history, everything. You want me to know all your browser history? Sure, why not? Sounds like a good time. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. What? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. And then that way I can't hide how badly I want it. <laughs> well, then at least now I know. And I, I, I can duck. Their minds are melted. I'm like, ah! <laughs> the knife's... <laughs> ah, good thing we mind melted. <sighs> all right, guys. That's the end of the Q&As. Thank you, everyone, who submitted questions, thoughts, concerns, all that good stuff. Make sure you guys do it uh, for next episode, also for Flash and all the other stuff that we have going on. Before we leave, though, we need a poll. And I think with that, uh, what we'll ask is, with this being the final season of Supergirl, with us establishing some kind of will and testament crystal thing that she had to record and us not hearing what that is yet um do you believe that they are setting up for Kara to die by the end of the season or do you think that we will still have her uh alive and just we're not following her anymore along that and then we can, maybe we can still have her cross over with a few things and stuff but we won't be following her in a show anymore it's always tricky trying to figure out like where to end things like with Smallville the, their ending was like now he is Superman and we have told like his Our story. coming of age kind of story and stuff you know like that's what they're going for but when you have a, a series like like this going on like Arrow for example when we went through that that ended because well it wasn't because the world didn't need Oliver Queen anymore but it was that Oliver Queen had to do this in order to move things on you know so are we going to have something more like that it makes me wonder, like, how we're going to end this. You know, maybe how Black Lightning's going to end and stuff, too. Of like, yeah. But that one could be a little different, too, because in the beginning of Black Lightning, he had retired already. He had hung it up. So and like, then he had to pick it back up. And then he picked up. it back up for other reasons, so he could hang it up again. But by the end of this one, like, you could maybe have Kara, like, hang up being Supergirl. But is that, is, is that easy to do? Especially you know? with her being an alien. Like, yeah, that Would power she have to go back and... to Argus to be safe? I don't like, know. Maybe... I don't think so, but... Maybe Argo. she Argo. Argus is the the like military. Oh, pop that Lily. Group. What's her face? Yeah, Diggle and Diggle's, his wife are working. Yeah, Diggle's with. wife. Um, anyway, uh, Argo. What if she had to go back there and live? Yeah. At, to stay safe, yeah. or maybe she got poisoned in the Phantom Zone and she has to live there under the red sun. Yeah. Or, I don't know. So my main thought is like, do you guys think that we will be losing Car and Car will die by the end of the season? And that's the route that we're heading. So let us know what your thoughts are, comments down in the, uh, for sure down here in the YouTube video, but also over at patreon.com slash blindwave where you can vote, leave your thoughts and all that. Um, I'm right now, I'm probably leaning towards like 75% that we would lose Kara. Like to death? Lose her to, lose her to death, yes. Well, I mean, lose her to death or lose her People to, love her to a death, different planet. People will lose her to death. Okay. <laughs> Um, dead. I'll say that she has to go to a different planet to survive. That makes we have a yellow sun. Just stay here. You just live in the sun. She can live in a sun. I don't know. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe for this and all the other of the CW shows. Um, Walking Dead. We have anime. We have the Snyder Cut stuff here already. If you haven't seen that, we covered uh, Man of Steel. We covered the Snyder Cut Justice League, Batman v Superman, all that good stuff as well. So subscribe. Description has links to everything I mentioned in the video before. Check it all out, and we'll see you guys next time.